WWDC was about 10 days ago and in that worldwide developer conference, Apple announced a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of new updates for all of its major operating systems including macOS. They announced Hi Sierra, the successor to Sierra, and no matter how baked it might be, it's a f stupid name for an operating system. Regardless, it's been a minute since I did one of these so I thought it might be a good time to do a new installment for the what's on my tech series because every single time a new version, a new update comes out, I uninstall a bunch of third party applications that I previously used. So let's jump in, this is what's on my Mac mid-2017. Right, so for starters, a couple of things have changed, including the machine itself. I've kind of upgraded from my 2010 MacBook Pro to the 2013 MacBook Air, and it's been a mixed bag of feelings for now. Even though I miss the form factor, the 17-inch display, I love the battery life and the portability on my Air. I can take this thing with me almost everywhere and still work without a whole lot of compromises. Alright, so this is the 2013 MacBook Air Core i5, 4 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. And whenever I'm working on my desk, I've got both of my external hard drives plugged in along with my monitor to help me out with some screen real estate. Now getting to the software part, here is the main home screen. I've got a couple of folders here, a university folder, a folder for the things I'm downloading or downloaded that still need to be organized somewhere. Then I've got some CVs that I made for a friend, a folder for YouTube, and a folder for Instagram stories that I have been posting on and off. If you follow me over there, you already know what I'm talking about. Then on the left, I've got some stock Avel applications that I use on the dock. Uh, Safari Messages, Launchpad, Finder. I use Newton for Mail, fantastic application. It's been a pleasure using this thing. Great UI and UX overall. And I'm also an Apple Music subscriber, so I have iTunes rather than Spotify. I've also got Fontbook that allows me to really quick uh, take a look at all of my custom fonts that I've installed. And I've also got the Mac client for WhatsApp and then I have VLC because I'm always binge watching on something. And if I go into the launchpad over here, you already know about the stock Apple applications. But apart from that, I've got Sophos Home, just in case something gets on the system that shouldn't have from the web, you know, from the pop-ups on certain websites, uh, if you know what I mean. Then I have this awesome application called Subtitles. It's about $10 or something after the 30-day free trial. And this thing has changed the way I consume media. I just put multiple video files on here and it finds the right subtitles for all of them. And you can also configure it to automatically download .srt files for any video file in a certain directory. After that, I've got the Unarchiver to unzip RAR files. I've got Final Cut, which I use to edit all of my videos. I've also got Compressor and Motion over here, but I'm still learning how to use those and incorporate them in my workflow. Then I've got the iWork Suite, Pages, Keynotes, Numbers. I don't use Microsoft Office because this just works a little bit better for me. I've also got some Adobe applications, Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects, Animate and Audition. Then I've got Name My TV series that allow you to rename and arrange your TV shows that you have a little bit better. Uh, then I've got Mac Tracker, which helps you get detailed information for any Apple product uh, like pricing, specifications, warranty information, etc. etc. I use App Cleaner to uninstall any application. This also gets rid of the temporary files and the registries and the directories associated with that application, something that doesn't really happen when you move that app to trash. Uh, then I've got Simple Comic to read my comic files on my laptop. Music Brain Picard is a software that I use to correct the metadata for my songs to make everything a little bit more organized and correct. Uh, Newton I've already talked about, Android file transfer to transfer files to my Nexus 7. Uh, I've got the Android Studio as well. I just really needed the platform tools folder to flash Lineage OS onto my Nexus 7, but I just turned the whole thing just in case. Then I've got Sky for the times FaceTime is acting up, then Plex Media Server and Player to manage all of my media. I actually have two separate videos about this and Music Brains as well. I'll link those below if you want to check those out. Uh, then I've got Dropbox, which is pretty self-explanatory. Hidden Me Free is an application that I use to quickly hide all the icons on the desktop. And lastly, I have Volcat, which is a free application that downloads and automatically changes your desktop wallpaper every single day. Uh, this sweet looking wallpaper right now is also from Volcat. And that's basically about it. Like I said, every single time a new version comes out, I uninstall a bunch of third-party applications that I previously used. For instance, I used to have Flux, which is now replaced by Night Shift. I stopped using Alfred and moved to Spotlight. If you're a power user, then you're obviously not going to make that switch. But I just used Alfred to open apps. Anyway, so that's it. What's on my Mac mid-2017? Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more awesome virtual tech content. Uh, let me know if you have any more awesome Mac applications that you use in the comments or reach out to me at any of my social medias at virtualyakshay. That's been it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Live long and prosper.